Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So here we are going to write uh, Next.js APIs and this is our uh, basic setup. Okay. And uh, in the previous video we have downloaded this uh, JSON, right? So it contains a private key, uh, project ID, lot of things which we needed in our project in the Next.js because while initialization of this project, we need this private key, client ID uh, and all these credentials because uh, we are connecting to the Firebase. We are connecting to the Firebase to create the user and all. So we need uh, all these credentials to initialize the Firebase SDK. Okay, so is this Firebase private key? We can actually copy and paste it. So what all things we needed? We needed a private key, client email, database URL, and the project ID. So let's copy the project ID. Uh, this is fine. We can get, we get the project ID. Then we have Firebase database URL. Okay, so is it here? Client email. Let's copy this client email. And uh, Firebase private key. Private key is this one, the big one. Just copy this from and here in the main.ts what we are doing is we are initializing the Firebase SDK that's why we need all these arguments process.env private key client email project ID and the Firebase database URL okay so this admin is coming from the Firebase admin and we are using .env to populate all these credentials in the process.env npm run start we don't have a database and all these things so we don't have a docker setup running here we just have a plain and simple uh, nest.js application and this is doing the initialization and what we need is credential object credential object requires the private key client email and the project id okay so our application has started now we will introduce the routes so I think we don't need this now. Let's close it. So we populated all the environment variables, private key, client email, project ID, database URL. Now we can go ahead and we can start writing the, the routes. So if you see the controllers, here we have auth controller. So we can create one uh, user controller, let's say. Because we are going to write uh, the user registration route here. user.controller.ps just created a copy of this so this will be the same api v1 uh, api tag can be the user and it requires the access token so it's a sign up right it doesn't require an access token so we can remove it okay and uh, we are going to use firebase service that is fine we can remove these things. These these tags helps only uh, the swagger. So here we can do API one user, which should be post. Okay, and we can create a DTO. So it is should we create user request and uh, so this body will change because we are not going to validate the token at all. We are going to talk to Firebase and say, okay, uh, allow us to create a user. So the things which you need, like I'm going to have email. So we are going to pass a lot of things like email, password, role, email, which is a, it will be of type string, email, password, role, role will be of type string. And here you can define the API properties and all. Okay, so this is the DTO validations. Okay, let's finish this. So email validations, password validations, and the role. Role can be of type enum. I will add that. And this is email. Let's add the validation. So this is my user DTO, and this is what we are taking in the request payload. So this is user controller, we are taking user DTO, we can import this and this user DTO will have all the required parameters and now what we can do is we can actually use 
this uh, aid uh, firebase sdk to create our user and the creating a user is simple firebase sdk will give us uid in the response and what we are doing is await admin dot auth display name display name key you can hard code it or you can take the input from the user it's not we are going to use much so there is a password and there is an email okay so we have created a user this will give us the user id so what we can do after that is admin dot auth dot there should be a method set custom user claims this is important method and what we are saying is for this user id set the role property also this is what uh, we have to do that's why i moved this feature of creating user on to the server side so we can get the user id just after user create and then we can just set the custom user claim like populate the role in the user data simple that's it that's what we want and we can just set uh, send the uid in the response so return the uid and this is what we need to do in the create user we can take the display name also in the payload input because it's a simple and we can customize this role because it, it can be of type enum all these things i will customize and let's connect in the next video what we are doing is uh, this is our sign up now we need to just create uh, the login login which will just uh, once the user is created you will be able to do the sign up uh, you will be able to do the login through the ui okay and then you will get the token token you will send back to the server for the authentication and authorization so we are going to write a middleware to authenticate a token decode the payload and extract out this role information and then write uh, add the authorization layer on our existing apis okay let's do that uh, in the next video thanks everyone